Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you a new admin panel I created that is not exploitable and it has Discord webhook logging, theme customization, and more. Um, for the Discord webhook logging, this video is basically showing you how to set up the proxy server for the webhook logging. Since if you watch my past videos, you can see that uh, you need a proxy server for Discord webhooks now. But it's still pretty simple to do. So... All you have to do is if you go into the admin server manager script, you'll see, uh, you know, you have your webhook URL right here and you want to have to put, you want to put that in. So you want to go to your server, you want to go to server settings, you want to go to integrations, webhooks, and then obviously create a webhook and then copy the URL and then put that right there. Now, if you go into your webhook service module, you have uh, the webhook service module is automatically going to be in here along with the proxy service module, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you go in the proxy, I mean the webhook service module, you have a URL string and an access key string. The way we can get this is if you go to the link in the description below, it'll lead you to this GitHub page right here where you can set up the proxy. So you'll scroll down and you'll see a button that says deploy to Heroku. Before clicking this, make sure you have a Heroku account already set up. And after you do that, go in here and click deploy to Heroku. And you'll get this prompt right here. All you want to do is give a name. So I'll give it proxy service tests. Some names, some names are going to be taken, but I'll just give proxy service test. Don't edit anything down here. Uh, you don't need to do that. And then click deploy app. And then after you click deploy app, you got to go ahead and let this run and just come back when it's finished. All right, so once it's finished, you wanna click manage app and go to settings. You should see settings right here. Scroll down to reveal config vars. Go to access key and copy that access key right here. And then you wanna put it uh, right here in your webhook service module where it says access key, just like that. Then you wanna go, uh, back here and click view and copy this url up here and paste it where it says url now for logging commands to work you want to go into the admin server manager script and under these settings right here where it says log commands you want to set that to true if it's not already and i'll get to the stack commands enable later and uh leader stats folder name but for now uh it should log your uh you know all the commands you do and stuff so if we go ahead and open this and click on my name click type in test and click kick and we go to the server right here uh the bot sends lou escape kicked you know the player which is obviously myself for and then the reason it'll also do this w when you ban the player but instead of saying kicked obviously it'll say banned um now leader stats uh, if you want to like be able to edit your stats, you want to go ahead and set the stat command enabled to true. And I don't want to write a whole new leader stat script. So I'm just going to uh, get one out of the toolbox right here. Then put it in service script service. Now, what I mean right here by leader stat folder name is the folder that your leader stats are stored in. So uh usually when you create leader stats you create a folder and then you put int values and stuff in that or number values or whatever uh so you just want to put the name of that folder right here and then it'll automatically set the values to what you choose if it's a number value or integer value it doesn't do it for string values so you see i have the money leader stat right here if i go here put in the player name put in like one ten thousand and then click set stats It'll automatically find that data store that your character has, leader stats, and uh, set the money to, or set the value to that. Also, this leader stat doesn't use a folder. It just uses a value name leader stats. You, could, it, it, you can also do that too, but I just like using folders. Uh, yeah, and if you add multiple, you can add multiple stats too, so... Let's copy this right here and 
just make another one. So let's do, uh, let's do gems, name it gems, and then just set the, uh, stuff like that. And then go ahead and click play. And then we'll have a gems leader set as well. Click the player. Uh, let's type in 10,000 again. Click set stats. And it'll automatically set the stats to the number you put in there. Now, you can also customize the theme of this admin menu by going to the admin folder that'll be in replicated storage when you insert it. Go to theme color and set the color right here. So if I want it to be, you know, this light blue right here. I'll just set it to that and then run it again. And the th um, all the outlines and stuff will be set to that color, just like that. Um, I might as well show you what it looks like when you insert it. You have this little model right here and you go ahead and click insert. And you have the admin folder and the admin server manager script along with all the stuff inside of that. You don't have to mess with any of this if you don't want. But you just got to put, you know, the server script into the server script service and then the admin folder into replicated storage. One thing I forgot to add is that if you want to change who's an admin, you have to go into your admin server manager script and this table where it says admins, you want to put the user ID of the admins. So, for example, there's my user ID right here and you separate it with a comma and then put someone else's user ID. So... I have my user ID and my friend's user ID. If you just if you just want you know one user ID, obviously you just don't put the comma just like that. But you could just keep doing it like that, put a comma, and then separate it like that. But yeah. So yeah, this is basically just a simple admin menu I created. Uh, I'll leave the link to it in the description below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, just be sure to subscribe or you know. Leave some suggestions in the comments and I might make a video on it and yeah.